so good to be back again after a long break yes so today we're going to be drafting a basic skirt um pattern right and it's super duper easy you can have this done in like minutes and have your skirt sewn in like 30 minutes or even an hour you know depending on other factors but yeah so this skirt um pattern is going to have a waistband of about 1.5 inches we're just going to go straight to the point you know no dilly dally yeah the full skirt length is 26.5 inches and we're going to be taking our 1.5 inch for the waistband so in total i'm going to be taking i'm going to be ma mapping out a length of 25 inch however there's some basic lines that i've drawn here this right here is um two inches for the hemming allowance at the bottom and i'm cutting for both my front and my back pattern at the same time that's why i have the center front and center back and then the center back um is extended about two inches away or wider than the center front pattern this is to allow for uh, your zipper allowance your butt allowance and you know whatever hemming to close up right there right okay so um from here i'm going to be taking the length of my skirt and so the length of my skirt is 25 inches so i'm just going to do that right away just going to okay so we have our skirt um, measurements and now it's time for me to mark out my hip that's from my waist to my hip line uh usually it's about eight inches nine inches away from the waistline uh i think i'm going to be i will make do with 8.5 inches yeah i'll be working with 8.5 inches so i'll just put have my tape measure on 1.5 don't forget we have a band here and then mark out 8.5 so I'm just going to take it all the way and equally extend this into a straight line so we can clearly see what we're working with. All right, believe you me, we're almost done. Almost done. So I'm going to be taking all my measurements from right to left, right left i hope that's clearly understood right so the waist measurement i'm working with is 28 inches um divided by four is seven inches i'm going to have one inch as for that and that makes it eight inches so i'm just going to mark out eight inches from here and then sewing allowance of two inches um, the hip measurement I'm working with is 39 inches divided by 4, that's 9 3 quarter, which is here. And of course, not forgetting my 2 inch is allowance. So because I want this skirt to be a little bit tapered at the bottom, right, I might go in by 1 inch, 1.5 inches from what I have on my waistline. That's excluding the sewing allowance. What I mean is, so I have nine three quarter here. So I might as well just bring eight three quarter here or eight and a quarter or 8.5, you know, just to make it look a bit fitted. So I think I'm going to work with 8.5, right? And then not forgetting my two inches allowance. So I think um, I'll connect these lines first of all before I go any further. It's not so pointed. Yeah. So now we're going to distribute the one inch we initially placed for the dart my bust span measurements that's nipple to nipple measurement is um eight inches half of that is four inch four inches so i'm just going to put four inches here 
and because i had one inch for that allowance i'm going to distribute that evenly you know to both sides that's half an inch here and half an inch here the length of my dart for the center front pattern um will be about four inches which is here and i'm just going to connect this nicely Which is this and this so um, I'll just have this as my hip as my waist okay guys so now for the zipper part right this is two inches at this waist part because we want it a little bit clenched because um we want it a little bit clenched we're going to go in by one inch right here so you know all my markings are from right to left please at this point we'll maintain our two inches we're not doing anything with that and then we might come down about maybe seven inches which is just fine for me okay and equally come in by one inch so this whole spot is to help with you know whatever butt allowance or sitting allowance that we that we need and for this curve i'll actually be making use of my hip curve all right so uh, i hope i hope this is visible. I hope what I'm doing is visible. So I'm just going to do this. Just making sure that it's placed properly. Alright. And then connecting this to the one inch here. This is quite easily done. So we're xing this out, we're xing this out, but we would maintain this cut here. So guys, one last thing, okay, before we're done with our block pattern, is to come down half an inch at the waistline here. Because our waistline is not straight, it's kind of like curved in. You know, so you also have that to create that curved in illusion. For uh, the back pattern, you just want to make it straight. So you're extending it this way. And then you're connecting it from your half an inch to nothing at your original waist measurement. You're not extending it to the sewing allowance. So this is what, this is what it is. All right, this is what it is. Let's not forget we have to add 0 0.5 inch joining allowance to our waistband and it's advisable to just add it now. So I'll just quickly do that and I'm using another marker so that it's different, sort of. So here I'm going to notch my zipper point and I'm going to notch the two inches that I have below, notch my bending allowance and yeah. Okay guys, so being done with our um, basic skirt blocks, it's now time for us to draft out our waistband, okay? and then. 
in drafting this out don't forget we left we say or we say that we want our waistband to be 1.5 inches and we need that to unfold so that's 1.5 times 2 that's 3 inches and of course you need half an inch to join the waistband to your skirt um, pattern so that's half an inch in two places that's one inches plus three gives us four inches so typically there are two ways to have it done you might just want to have one waistband one full waistband okay and then what you require is your total waist measurement for example my waist measurement is 28 plus one inch on both sides for the zip allowance that's two inches plus 28 that's 30 so that's 30 in length four inches in width so what you will do is have your fabric folded this way and have your fabric folded this way again okay and then you measure because it's on fold so you'd measure two inches from top to bottom and you measure 15 inches from left to right and you just cut out a straight line okay so this waistband is going to be a straight waistband however because we already created this cuff here and we want to maintain that on our waistband we'll be drafting the waistband differently and indivi in individual pieces so we won't be drafting like a full length waistband we'll be drafting the waistband for the front and the back block so quickly to move on that um we're using our front block okay so here for the front block i have a total length of 10 inches but don't forget that we added this is including the one inch that allowance which we're going to take in and by the time we take that in it's going to reduce to nine inches so the length of this waistband will be drafting on fold it will be nine inches so let me just ascertain that i have the nine inch fold here so yep yeah, this is fine yeah it's fine because i'll use the remaining one to cut for the back so i'm just going to map out a straight line here okay and then i'm going to get my nine inch for my center front which is this I'm going to get the midpoint of that which is 4.5 inch inches at this 9 inches I'm going to go up like about a 3 quarter inch and connect this line to the midpoint here so this is also just to create that curve like illusion. Okay, got it. So from here now, I'll just um, quickly take, mark out my 1.5 inches waistband. because we are doing this this way we we'll need two pieces of this we need to cut out unfold two pieces Okay guys, so this is what it is 
right now. Um, this is for the center front waistband. I'm just quickly going to add half an inch at the top for joining one part to the other part and half an inch at the bottom for joining the waistband to the center front. So let's quickly do that. Okay, so we have the waistband for the front and in mapping out or in marking out the waistband for the back, you also just want to repeat the same process, draw out a straight line. However, in this case, because you have a one inch zipper allowance at the back, you also have to take that into consideration when drafting your band for the back. So I'm just going to come out by one inch here, connect this line nicely. Okay, so I'll just place the center front band on a spot, just pick any spot, all right? And what I want to do is just trace it out. First of all, I'll connect this part into the straight line because it's for the back. It's for the zip here. And then just trace out other ones like so. So I'm just going to quickly cut this out. Okay guys, so this is what it is. Don't forget, you have to cut this this way, all right? So you need to cut two pieces of each. So your the waistband for the back will be four pieces and then the waistband for the front will be in two pieces. So what you're going to do really is you take two pieces for the back okay and then front facing front you just want to sew along the top and then you flip it over by the time you flip it over you realize that you have um, about two inches left okay you have two inches left 1.5 for your actual waist height and then half inch to join you know the waistband to your skirt so yeah so guys, at the end of the day, this is what our um, skirt pattern looks like. You agree with me that it was super easy and very fast to make. Um, one other thing, the waist that you can manipulate the waist that, um, especially for the back to whatever length you you require. So for the front, I have um, I have three point five inches for the front right that's excluding the sewing allowance and then for the back 
I extended it down by one inch. So for the front is 3.5 and for the back is 4.5. Yes, so I can't wait for you to try out this tutorial. If it's been really helpful, please give it a like, a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and feel free to share this link wherever. Thank you so much for watching and until my next video, goodbye.